So for this particular problem, which would be example number two, we're going to use our calculator to find the actual confidence interval. And it says a random sample of 24 college students were surveyed to determine how long it takes to walk from the library to the education building. The survey team found a sample mean of 12.3 minutes, a standard deviation of 3.2 minutes. Assuming walking times are normally distributed, what is a 99% confidence interval for the population mean of walking times? So starting this problem, again, we need to identify certain variables. And remember, to get here, we're going to go stat, test, and we're going to do this. This is stats again because we're not looking at a list. We're going to go down to number eight, which is the T interval. And here I need to identify first the mean of this problem. And it tells me that the survey team found a sample mean of 12.3 minutes. So my X bar equals 12.3. Next thing I'm going to find is the standard deviation, and it said it had a standard deviation of 32 of 3.2 minutes. So S of X equals 3.2. And then I also need the sample size. Well, it had a random sample of 24 college students. So my N is equal to 24. And the last thing I need is a confidence level, and my confidence level is 99% confidence. So here I'm not even going to set it up. I'm just going to go straight to the calculator. And again, to get here, remember, we press stat, test at the top, T interval. This is a stats problem. And we type in our information. So the X bar, 12.3, S of X, 3.2, N is 24. And now your confidence level, remember, whatever it is in the problem, you leave it like that. You need to go ahead and change the decimals. That's 0.99. And it tells me that my upper and lower bounds, my lower bound is 10.466 to 14.134. All right.